Ladies and gentlemen, American Jury and Bulldog Nation, welcome to Pop Culture. Boy, do we have some fun here today. There apparently is a gene from Denzovarius that makes you mental. And apparently our homo sapien ancestors boinked some of these people and had offspring and all of our mental disorder comes from these folks. That's a theory, Jamie Spinley. What do you think? Uh, Dennis Albans. I, I think that's how you say that. Bunch of horny ancestors boinking the wrong kind of people. All right, you can't make this up. And down in Argentina, there are people, Swifties, who have camped out not one, not two, not three, not four, five months, Jamie Spinley, in order to get in the front freaking row. Five months. Damn. How come there's nobody camped out to watch our show every morning at Bulldog Media, Eric Dieter's Media? All right. Swift has extended some Canadian dates. She's added some dates, including Vancouver. All right. Can't make this up. The national organization, the world organization that handles bird naming. They're going to rename bird species to avoid racism. Wow. Now, when I read the article, I was looking for, give me an example. Right. You can't make this up. They didn't give me a specific example, but they said they wanted to be uh, kind of, uh, uh, you know, look out for blacks and indigent, indigenous people. So, like, the black crow is probably going to get renamed. I mean, you believe it? Racism in birds. All right. Now and Then by the Beatles is a new song that they release with John Lennon's voice being used in other, through AI or whatever, but it's going to be like the last song of the Beatles. Have you listened to it yet, Spinley? You're a Brit. No, I'm not a Beatle fan. All right. Well, I'm not either, but I'm going to have to listen to it this weekend. Now and Then by the Beatles. And Queen announces, you also being a Brit, you a fan of Queen? My favorite band of all time. All right, well, they they found a song that they did called Face It Alone. It's apparently a ballad. Freddie Mercury is great. They say people that listen to it tear up. Have you listened to Face It Alone yet, Jamie Spindley? I will on the way down to Atlanta. You're going to have to face it alone today when you play me again in chess. Mm. This morning he's been beating me. I got to get some revenge before he leaves town. Britney Spears' memoir has sold one million copies. The Woman in Me. Have you all bought it? I haven't either. All right, Cassidy Krause, this Iowa teacher, pictured here, just married, 24 years old, was messing around with a 14-year-old. She's in jail. He filed for divorce. <laughs> Al Pacino's paying $30,000 a month to his 29-year-old baby mama. Spears' dad, this sick SOB, you ready for this? During the conservatorship, took $24 million a month. How is he not in jail? Mount St. Helens is apparently, like, percolating again. They thought it was dormant, but now they're not so sure. I swear to God, folks, the world is ending. All right. Leonardo DiCaprio says, apparently, he's smitten with Vittoria Soretti. Have we ever heard this before? That Leonardo might be smitten with a supermodel? He always is. He always is until they hit 30. Then they're out of there. <laughs> Yellowstone, 1944 is coming. How do you like that? They're going to do a 1944. It's another prequel. All right. Did you know what WD-40 stands for? Uh, no. Water displacement, Josh Wentz. I have no idea. Yeah, I thought that was worthy of the show. I have no idea. All right. They have finally decided, based upon their studies, that it is absolute. This is a real unshocker. It's impossible to time travel backwards. Isn't that sad, Jamie? I was planning on doing that. Yellowstone, the, the second part of the final series. Comes out November 2024, a year from now. And last but not least, this is wild. Kim Kardashian admits that Northwest, 
do you believe the name Northwest? Oh my God, how they do this to the kid. Northwest prefers spending time with her daddy because his life is simpler. How do you like that? Maybe there's hope for Northwest. This is the Bulldog. Every dog has their day. Stay on top of your pop culture. <laughs>